Today, we'd like to show you how to open a JWST image in Invis and change the plot options. Um, I'm opening an empty notebook here from a Conda environment where I've installed the latest version of JDEVIS. So first thing first, I need to import JDEVIS and in particular Invis. Then I can select a file from my hard drive. I've already downloaded it. Um, I want to import a near cam image in the FO90W filter, and the product is an I2D um, FITS file that is the, later, the last product uh, when running the JWST calibration pipeline. Then I can initialize in this. I can tell it to load the data, and I just pass the file, it will recognize it, and then I can show uh, the viewer. And I can adjust the height of the viewer because I'm quite zoomed in to have a clear view in the recording. So here I run it and it loads the image here. And what I want to show you today is how to adjust the plot options. So I open the plugin tray here at the top right and then I go under plot options and I have a set of things that I can change. So first thing, I would like to set a different stretch function and I select a um, inverse hyperbolic sign because it allows me to um, show the faint stuff uh, without saturating too much the bright stuff. But you can see that the image is dominated by these pixels on the outskirts. So I can use this handy Instagram viewer to modify the limits of the image the Vmin and Vmax. So here I start see, seeing things. I can change the view of this histogram and move it around and see what range. I can see what color it these values refer to in the image. And then I can move also this part. I can still see a lot of saturated stuff here. I can zoom in to see it better. So I can go down and under more stretch options, I can set manually the Vmax. Let's try to. Okay. Here now I, I can see the faint parts of these galaxies without saturating too much their centers. Another thing I can change is the color map. Let's try this. Okay. Now I've done all this manually in the user interface but I can also script it, which is convenient if I have to do this over and over again. So I can call the plugin from the notebook. Let's call it something. There you go. And then from here, I can change all the properties that I already changed here. So let's try first the color map. And let's see, it's here, image color map. And I just say this. Then I can, what, what did we change? We changed the stretch function. Stretch function, okay. There you go. And then I change the Vmin and Vmax. Let's put exactly. Uh, let's put something similar to what I have here. Let's see what it is. It stretch Vmin. Zero point two. Stretch Vmax. There you go. Okay. Now, um, to show you exactly what it does, I'll rerun this cell that loads in this, so it will load with the original defaults. You see, we're back to the original defaults. And let's zoom to a range where there was there were interesting things here. I can't see much now, right, with these defaults. But if I just run this cell now, it will adjust to the stretches that we liked before. The uh, explanation 
of how to do this is all in the documentation under display settings in Invis. And you should find the link to this page in the description of this video. Goodbye.